Matt Savage here with Miami Johnson. You know, you are the all-time leader in caches with 517. What does that mean to you? It means that I've been around a long time. <laughs> but it is uh, quite, uh, it's quite an accomplishment, especially when I was behind Men the Master for like 150 tournaments. But I guess he quit playing and I kept plugging away and showing up every day and Lately, I've been cashing 20 to 25 times a year, so I managed to get there. But it's been fun. I enjoy the experience. I know a lot of people say you can't make much money in tournaments, but I just have a passion for it, and that's what I like to do. Well, the L.A. Poker Classic, you won another one of these babies this year, about 12 total in your career. The L.A. Poker Classic this year really focuses on a lot of mixed games, and I know you like to play those games. Why is that important to poker in general, that you're able to play more than just one game? Well... That's a kind of a tough question. Why is it more important? Making the money is the most important thing. All the money seems to be in no limit. So I kind of sacrifice that to play the limits because my passion is in limit games. And to be honest with you, I have more expertise and more experience in limit games. So it's kind of like, uh, I mean, it's more than just bragging rights, but it's it's just fun to play so many different events and then plus you get to meet, meet a lot of different people too because they all show up for different events you know one of those people you uh know coach i think and mentor is james james woods now james has a passion for the mixed games as well but i think he plays a little bit different than you would you agree with that i think he's kind of like plays like i do in a way uh, it's some sometimes with james is his temperament gets a little of the best of him but then he always tells me he's only acting anyway so <laughs> Well, great actor he is. Now, so for you to play in, in these mixed games, uh, do you think that to be a great poker player, you have to play more than just No Limit? I would say, I would say so. I mean, to be amongst your peers and things like that, it's it's always good to be overall. And plus, when you go downstairs after the tournament the next day, you got to win your buy-ins to come upstairs. You know. And to participate in more games that are better than others, it's good to have a variety of games that you can choose from. Because you could go to a no-limit game that might be juicy, but then some days it's all dried up. And then you can see a juicy, I'd rather play in a juicy 50 and 100 game than any great big no-limit game. That's my own personal opinion, but that's what I like to do. Another thing that James Woods always says to me all the time is get this guy into the Hall of Fame. Is that important to you? Yes and no. I mean, yeah, it's nice to have the recognition, but... Do I honestly really strive to get there? No. If it comes, that's fine. If it doesn't, I'm okay with that, too. Well, over 500 career caches, a lot of them right here at the Commerce Casino. John, we're proud to have you as a player here at the Commerce Casino, and thank you for all you've done for the poker industry. Well, thank you very much, and I enjoy being here also. Thanks.